We're going to cover a feature now in Revit called Phases. This makes Revit a 4D program, that fourth dimension being time. Every element that is modeled in Revit, something you can put your hands on when the building's built, has two parameters associated with it, a phase created and a phase demolished. Similarly, every view has two phase-related parameters, a phase and a phase filter. So the view can be set to look at just the existing construction or the new construction plus the existing or the new construction showing things to be demolished plus existing. When we started working in our file here we used a template that had views which had the phase set to new construction. So everything we draw in a view its phase for that element is based on the phase setting for the view that you're working in. So because the view is set to new construction, everything we modeled, like this wall that I just selected for example, is set to phase created new construction. The default is always none for phase demolished because Revit is never going to assume that something should be demolished. So that's true for the windows, the doors, the ceilings, everything's set to new construction right now. So therefore, if in this view we're in, we change the phase from new construction to existing, everything disappears because nothing exists in, before that building was created on this site. Well, let's say off to the side here there actually was a small building, whether it's a garage that stays or a storage shed that gets deleted. While this view's phase is set to existing, anything I draw at this point is going to be set to be existing. So if I select this wall and look at its properties, the phase created now is existing. So now with nothing selected, I can look at the view properties and change the phase for this view to new construction. Anything that's existing in a new construction view automatically is half-toned so that the new elements stand out and also the hatching by default goes away so that the new construction stands out. That's controlled by the phase filter for the view. We have show complete which does something a little bit different with existing versus show all or show previous plus demo. There's several different variations, but in general, all we really need to know is that each element has a phase created and a phase demolished, and each view has a phase in a phase filter setting. If we want to have a separate existing view so that we don't have to keep toggling that one variable, we can duplicate this view, rename it, and we can call it Level 1 Existing. So now anytime we have existing work to do for this project, of course we need to set the phase for that view to existing. Anytime we have to do any work related to the existing building, we go do some field survey and find out that a wall moved or maybe there's an interior wall here now that we have to represent. We just switch to the existing view and we're not seeing cluttered things like dimensions and, and things like that. Remember the, the soffit height was being remembered from previous so I had to change that base offset to zero. So now there might be a couple of doors here. So now when we switch back to the level one plan, we can still see the existing elements. So if we want to make changes to the existing, it's easier to do it here, but we certainly could do it in the regular level one plan. Now let's say this wall needs to be demolished in the new construction. We'll set the phase demolished 
to new construction. Nothing changes here because we're still back in time, back when this building was existing and as is. But as we slide the time slider forward, now in the new construction phase we see the existing showing up dashed. There's another option where we can set it to show complete and that makes the demolished items disappear altogether. So we might create a third level one view that's just a demo plan. We can do that as well. So we duplicate this view. We rename it to level one demo. So the existing plan probably will never go on a sheet such as construction documents, but the demo plan and the new plan likely will. So we, for a demo plan we need to show new construction and then previous plus demo. So actually everything that is new is going to disappear except for some of these tags. And just existing elements and existing elements set to be demolished are the only things that are going to show up here. With the crop region selected we can turn on this annotation crop to make that exterior elevation tag disappear. So here's a view that shows the demo plan for this small building. And of course, if this were an existing building and there was a lot of demolition going on in it, we could use that same logic then for this larger building. The last thing we should point out about phasing on the Manage tab is the Phases dialog box. Here we can add additional phases. Maybe there's a Phase 2 and a Phase 3 or a Future Phase. The Phase filters are what we are seeing in the views. So show complete we used, show all, show demo, or actually show previous plus demo. So in that situation, new is set to not display, and anything existing is set to be overridden. And when something's overridden, we go to this last tab to see how it is being overridden. Here we see where the hidden pattern is coming from. So all that is in the phases dialog box, Every element, just to kind of summarize, every element has a phase created and a phase demolished. Every view has a phase and a phase filter. And that's how things are controlled as far as phasing in Revit.